Just gonna get the ones. Oh, jeez, where'd you come from? Made me waste around and everything. Hey everybody, this is Vandal 6 Actual, and we are back with some more Seven Days to Die. It is day seven. It may be a Horde Knight. It may not be a Horde Knight. We set this to have two days of drift on the Horde Knight, so at this point, I don't know if it's going to be a Horde Knight. We'll find out in four to five hours here, I guess. Uh, but today, we need to go ahead and prepare, or at least begin the day preparing as if it is a Horde Knight. Uh, a couple of things that I want to do. I want to decide between the cafe, and I believe there's a trailer over here that we've already been to, and I'd like to find out which one of those I want to use for the first horde base. You know, we're looking at probably somewhere between two and four, uh, two and four zombies for the first horde night, so it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, we just basically need to have a place where we have some light, where it's surrounded, and where we can fight these guys off one at a time. May not even have to actually pull out a gun to do it. Uh, we'll have to see. So uh, I want to go ahead and, and hit those places today. And also we have that dig quest that I'd like to go ahead and complete as well. Um, right now though, I actually have some iron smelting, uh, or we got not smelting, I've got some forged iron being made over there in the forge right now. Um, and we're going to go ahead and get everything together to do the mini bike as soon as possible. I realize we just created the bicycle uh, yesterday, but we have just about everything else that we need for it. So we've got the pretty much everything that we need to go ahead and begin putting this whole thing together, except it looks like we're missing some pipes and that forged iron. And we're going to, we've already got four forged iron on us. So we're going to go ahead and use to make the wheels as soon as we get some more polymers. Um, so we'll have those things ready to go. We've got the headlights here. We've got two engines and somewhere in here, I'm pretty sure we've got a battery. And if we don't, we can go ahead and take apart some cars. Yeah, we've got a, a level five battery there, actually. So we're going to go ahead, and actually I do have the, the, the pipes as well. So we're going to go ahead and get all, everything that we need. And hopefully by the end of the day, we can have that mini bike put together as well. In fact, let's go ahead and see what all we need. I know that this will show up for the mini bike handlebars and chassis. Oh, we have to unlock Grease Monkey, but we're pretty close on that actually right now. Um, so we should have everything as soon as it comes time for that. We, yeah, we have enough pipe. We've got electrical parts here. We've got mechanical parts, springs, and a headlight. And what as far as the chassis? Looks like more mechanical parts, duct tape, leather, and electrical parts and the forged iron is cooking away right now. So we should be pretty good to go uh, with once that forged iron is ready to go and we get these wheels together. And I don't believe we have a skill point. No, we do not. But uh, we're currently, you know, probably about a quarter of the way up on the next level. So we should get there by the end of the day. So first things first, let's get outside and Go ahead and find what we're going to use for the Horde Knight. Alright, so here is Bob's Cafe. This is one of the options. My only concern with this place is we've got the double wide opening there for the front door. And I'm pretty sure there's another entrance out back. Yes, there is. So we're going to have to find a way to either seal that off and keep them off of it and just give them a way to path directly to the front door or um, we're going to have to defend the front and the back in that one. I'd rather not have to do that. So the other option is right here in this trailer um, and these places usually have some pretty good durability. This one's a little bit banged up from when we cleared it out but you know we're like oh I take that back thought we'd already cleared this place out maybe we haven't but uh well this place may not work after all <laughs> all right let's get in here and clear this place out and yeah, we got a crawler down here all right he's dead might have another one back here on the other side but i would have thought that he'd already woken up 
Nothing in the bathroom. I guess we have not been in here. Alright, well, while we're in here, might as well go ahead and loot it. Uh, so this is the recog elixir and adds two to perception, 400% range damage, minus 30 water, and it lasts for 45 seconds. So not a bad thing to have if you're going to go and try and use some, uh, some ranged weapons. Uh, we'll just grab it all and we'll go drop everything off back at our, our base before we go anywhere else. Some decent stuff in here. Oh, great. We got some forged steel. Four more pieces of that. That's awesome. And three more repair kits. So that's actually less repair kits that I have to go ahead and make, which is always a good thing. Repair kits are pretty easy to make in this game. Uh, just some forged iron and some duct tape. Oh, that's great. We've got a f another fire axe here and an iron shovel. We needed a shovel. We didn't need a fire axe at this point, but uh, we'll hang on to that. And seven more mechanical parts. I'd like to get into that cemetery across the street as well. I don't think we'll do that today because it can take a little while to clear that out. And maybe we'll see if if we don't get the uh, the Horde Knight uh, indicator here by about you know eight or nine or whatever time that normally happens, then maybe we'll go ahead and we'll we'll focus on clearing that out today. All right, let's see if we can get somewhere and find some boxes. It's banged up. All right, let's see if we can find some boxes that we can go ahead and break up and get some more polymer. So to do that, I think maybe we'll go ahead and see if we got anything first of all here inside the cafe. There we go, got him waking up now. Hey, it's Roger. All right, he's dead. Bust this rest of the way out. Got anything here? Any sleepers? Don't see anybody. Probably got something in the next room, though. There we go. Hey, James, how you doing? Oh, jeez. Didn't expect that. Whew, that caught me away off guard. All right, what do we have here? Get some pears. Yeah, Let's see where we are in food. 94. All right, we'll just eat whatever we find in here for right now. We need a total of 32 polymers. I'm not sure if what we're going to find in here is going to be enough. So we might have to go hit one more place at least. But we'll see. Just kill you? Well, we done killed you again. Alright, some more red tea. Let's get into this crate. And yeah, just some more jars. One more jar. Alright, so some crossbows, crossbow bolts, iron knuckles, hunting knife. Not, not really a whole lot of good stuff in there that we're actually going to use, but we might be able to take some of that to the trader and sell it and so far it doesn't look like today is going to be a horde night so uh, this could uh, could end up just being a, a free day for looting and going and selling and all of that jazz 
So, all right. Now, there's another bag right up here. And a can. Well, we are we are on a roll today, aren't we? All right, we are encumbered. Can't get into, there's nothing to get out of the, either one of these cars. So let's go ahead and loot these. And then I think we're going to go ahead and just take apart those cars. We need the iron right now. And we don't yet have a mine started because we don't really have a good place to start one. Not a good safe, safe place to start one. So head back over here. And hey, we got a visitor. Over here. You know, I kind of realized that in the first... Oh, jeez. That wasn't cool. Realized in the first few episodes... Oh, stop hitting me. First few episodes, I was spending a, a lot of energy to avoid the zombies. That's not fun for you guys watching, so... I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive with it going forward here. I know you guys aren't watching to see me sneaking around. So, we'll go ahead and... We'll confront as many of these zombies as, as seem, seems to be prudent. But uh, let me grab my wrench. Where are you, wrench? I know you're here. There you are. And let's take these apart. We need the iron. We didn't have a whole lot left to uh, to turn into forge there. They only had 824 in the forge, so I want to get as much iron as we can today. Since it does not appear that this is going to be a horde night, let's go ahead... Hit that dig quest first, and then I think we'll come back over here, and we'll head down into that cemetery. Hey, another zombie. Hey, what did I say? We're going to go ahead and do this. Apparently, I can't avoid getting hit by them, though. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Move. Move. That didn't go well. That didn't go well at all. I hit the wrong button. Popped some stuff up that I didn't want popped up. and Next thing you know, we're in bad, sh bad shape here. So we may need to do some repairs before we, before we head back out. And by repairs, I mean repairs on ourselves. And we're infected too, so... It's a mild one at this point. We'll go out and have some honey. Get our health back up and head back on out. Pretty sure we've got some uh, some med kits. Alright, use one of these honeys. Alright, let's go ahead and drink a little bit of red tea here. And get some food to get our health back up. This bacon and eggs. And use this. There we go. Okay. Back at it. Hopefully with better luck this time. So the dig quest is over this way. It's in the snow. If I remember correctly. Yeah, just barely in the snow. But we're going to need to be on the lookout for the lumberjacks. Alright. Appears to be right in this vicinity. So, get my shovel, and dig out this first center hole here, and then we're going to go ahead and put down Junximus. There we go. And hopefully he'll keep a, keep a lookout for us here. Got something coming. All 
There it is. Let's uh let's just go ahead and take care of him. the way things have gone so far this morning I'm not too uh, keen on the idea of uh, sitting here and doing battle with one of them not with a club or or whatever is that it there it is totally missed it all right so we have black strap coffee I didn't even know that was in the game and there's our supplies we got some water some cans of food all right and that's going to spawn in a bunch of zombies for us here. One, two. Well, two isn't all that bad. Three, I guess. And that's that. All right. Good job. Good job, buddy. get inside. I know we didn't stop at the base and pick anything up or even pick up the coins that we've already got, but uh, really I'm most concerned with just getting in here. And is this the one that I forgot to... Yes, I forgot to pick this lock the last time we were here. There we go, and it only took three. And we've got it. Ooh, we got an iron spear. That's great. And iron knuckles. So we'll go ahead and sell those knuckles. And let's see. Iron, okay. iron boots are not really any better than what we're already wearing right now. Um, they'll sell for 192 Or we can take the antibiotics. We have some honey back at the base. And I think we've even got some antibiotics there as well. Uh, we'll get some XP and some tokens here. I think we'll actually go ahead and take those boots and then sell those. But Alright. So let's see what we can do here. We can sell this. And we will sell the iron boots. All right, so well, we don't really have much of anything here that we're going to be able to, to use. What's he got in the register? 37. Okay, that'll do. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, we've already gotten all of these things. Okay. Let's just see if there's, if he's got any rations out here. I'll go ahead and pick those up. Because um, those are always good for a good boost. And also the salmon would be a good one to have as well. So we'll go ahead and grab that as well. Okay. What's this blackstrap coffee do for us? Stamina regen, 30%. Last six minutes. Cold resist is 10. And it does help our water. You know what? We're just going to go ahead and use it right now. All right. Let's head back home. And now for a little riding music. Die, hoodie boy. Gets a little morbid. Die, hoodie boy. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'd said that I wanted to go ahead and, of course, get stuck in the hole that I dug. Oh, get out, get out, come on. Get out. I know I'd said I want to get down into that mine. I um, think it might be a little bit too late in the day for me to be comfortable doing that. So instead, we're going to go ahead here and hit this place. Just going to get the ones. Oh, jeez. Where'd you come from? Made me waste around and everything.
So now let's wait for them to fall. Well, let's not wait for them to fall. Let's take her out. Well, there's another one up there. They somehow didn't hear me step on the trash. All right. Yeah, there he is. Hey, James. Give me those back. Thank you very much. And what is with the garbage that we're getting in these things today? All right. Anything up here? Yes. We have the duffel bag there. Got the arrow right there. All right. Can we... Not quite. There we go. Another can. <sighs> Absolute trash. Literally. All right. I'm going to run back outside really quick here. We are already at 5.50 in the afternoon. So let's get down here. Because this can take some time. They never wake up that fast. Hey, we got some polymers. Just when I said we weren't going to get polymers, we got polymers. I swear that sounds like it's up top. But outside here? Probably. means we're going to have something coming in behind us which is always a smart decision to not go and take care of those things why wouldn't we why would we all right we want to go around the outside of here first they're going to come flying out of here another one coming here it sounds like oh, that's the one upstairs let's go take care of this thing I have it back. Should we call the crackhead dude? Call him Ed. We'll call him Ed. All right, and now we're coming into the main loot area. Just scrap this really quick to give us an extra spot. And we got one, two, three coming after us. And let's just do this quickly. We're out of time. Man, I thought I heard a fourth. Sounds like we got something shuffling around outside. All right, that one took three or four. Not too bad. More ammo. And Night Stalker. Uh, gain 5% XP from kills at night. So, all right. Grab everything. And got some tools. Finally have a uh, pickaxe. So, all right. I believe that's everything in here. At least up in this area. So let's get back out of here and head home before we hit nighttime. 
anybody can tell me what's back there, I have not been able to figure out if there's anything actually back there where that flashlight's pointing. So if anybody knows, I haven't bothered to really look it up, but if you know. This is shotgun style. Awesome. Targets within three meters have a higher dismember chance. Excellent. All right. Let's get out of here because we got one hour before dark. Oops. All right, so we actually are full on both of these crates. We're going to have to go ahead and throw out another one here. So always a good problem to have. All right, and let's see if we have any cardboard boxes down here that we haven't actually picked up or that we haven't actually broken up yet. I don't think so. Don't see any. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab this concrete while I'm down here. And then I'm going to plug up these entrances just to keep things out long enough to let us know they're, they're here. So it looks like tomorrow we're going to have to go ahead and finish up those. Finding the polymer for the wheels and, and all, but that's all right. Not a big deal. All right, that was an issue that I noticed a couple of nights ago that uh, we didn't really have any, any way to see down below. So I wanted to put a few torches out to give us at least a little bit of visibility down there. That just about does it for tonight. I think we're going to go ahead and end it right here. Well, I hope you're, enjoy you're having as much fun with this series as I am, because I'm having a blast. Uh, if you're enjoying it, I hope you'll consider subscribing and uh, hit that notification bell, too, so you know when the next video drops. Oh, and if you like it, like it. I'd certainly appreciate it if you'd give me a thumbs up. I can't wait to bring you more 7 Days to Die in other games. But until next time, this is Vandal 6 Actual. Out.